Hello everyone. Let's have a look on this question here. This question says that there are two electric poles of same height standing opposite to each other on either side of the road which is 20 meters wide. Now there is a point on the road and from this point we are given that the angle of elevations to the top of the poles are 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. Now we have to find the height of the poles and also the distance of this point from the poles. So let's first visualize this question. Now you can see that there is a road in front of me and there are two poles on either side of the road. We are given that the width of this road is 20 meters and there is a point on the road and from this point the angle of elevation to pole 1 is given to be 60 degrees. So we can say that from this point P let's say that there is a triangle forming and in this triangle angle P is 60 degrees. Similarly we are given that the angle of elevation to the second pole is 30 degrees. So in this triangle P C D we can say that angle P is equals to 30 degrees. We are also given that the height of these two poles is same. So let's say that the height is H and H and let's say that the distance of this point P from A is X1 and distance of this point P from C is X2. Now we can say that X1 plus X2 is equal to 20 meters since the width of the road is 20 meters. So now again you can see that we have two triangles here. One is PAB and other is PCD. And in both these triangles, the height or we can say the opposite length is same. And we have to find this distance AC. Now if you observe that the heights of both the triangles is same and if we somehow express this height in terms of their basis or we can say the adjacent then we can find out the adjacent of these two triangles and add these two adjacent that is x1 and x2 and their value is given to be 20 meters. So let's find out by applying trigonometric ratios the adjacent of these two triangles. Now in triangle PAB we can apply a trigonometric ratio. We are given the value of opposite and we have to express this opposite in terms of adjacent. So we can apply tan here, tan is opposite upon adjacent and we can express the value of opposite in terms of adjacent. So let's do it. So we can write down tan of 60 degrees will be equals to the length of the opposite is AB. So this will be AB upon PA. Just put the values. Tan 60 we can put from the table it is root 3. So this will be root 3 equals to AB is H and PA is X1. So we can say that X1 is equals to H by root 3. This is by cross multiplication. Let's say this to be 1. Now again we can apply trigonometric ratios in triangle PCD as well. So let's apply it in triangle PCD tan of 30 degrees will be equals to opposite upon adjacent. So this will be CD upon PC. So this will be CD upon PC. And again we can put the value of tan 30 from the table it is 1 by root 3. So 1 by root 3 is equal to CD is H and PC is X2. Now just again cross multiply the value of X2 will come out to be H root 3. And now we know that the width of the road is 20 meters. So X1 plus X2 is 20. So we can add these two and get the value 20. Let's say this equation to be equation 2. Now X1 plus X2 is equal to 20. So put the values. This will be H by root 3 plus 
h root 3 is equals to 20. Take the LCM here, LCM will be root 3 and just solve this. So this will come out to be root 3 will be the LCM and this will be h and plus here will be root 3 into root 3, this will be 3. So this will be 3h is equals to 20. Now cross multiply this. So this will come out to be 4h is equals to 20 root 3. 4 will get cancelled 5 and put the value of root 3 as 1.732. So if we multiply 5 into 1.732 will get 8.66. So the value of h will come out to be 8.66 meters. Now we can put the value of this h in 1 and 2 to find the value of x1 and x2. So let's put the value in x1 first. x1 will be equals to h by root 3. Now if you observe the value of h is coming out to be 5 root 3. So this root 3 will get cancelled and x1 value will come out to be 5 meters. Similarly when we put the value in second equation x2 will be h root 3 and the value of h is 5 root 3. So if we put the value here, this will be 5 root 3 into root 3. So the value of x2 will come out to be 15. So we can write down x2 is equals to 15 meters. Now we can say that this point is 5 meters far from first pole and 15 meters far from the second pole. And the height of both the poles is 8.66 meters. Now if we see that in this question the steps we had followed first of all we had drawn the diagram to have a proper visualization of the question then we had converted their adjacent in the terms of their common heights of both the triangles and finally we had added the adjacent to get a final result the value of h came out to be 8.66 meters and distance of this point p from the first pole came out to be 5 meters and from the second pole it came out to be 15 meters.